Hello all. Welcome to the channel Edufulness. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand uh, one real time scenario or most frequently asked question in the interviews. So that is finding the nth highest value. That may be a value, that may be a number, that may be a, uh, even we can say it's a salary, that may be a marks, whatever the column. Okay. So here we are just taking as a value. So accordingly, we can change it, just the number and column name, that's all. So for example, in front of us, this is the table we have. So EMP table, where we have a eight columns and 14 records. So we are going to consider this particular column, salary column actually. So that's what, this is the salary column. So how you will find the nth highest salary or nth lowest salary, whatever that, accordingly, you just uh, change it. Here in this question, so we are finding the nth highest salary. So I am going to take n as 4. So that means fourth highest salary is what out of all these salaries. So that person, that employee details we need in the output. So for that, first of all, the very first thing we need to do on top of this salary column is sort these salaries in a descending order. So that's what we are doing in the next step. So that is what sort the salaries actually so that you can observe 5000 3000 3000 and the least is 800 so salaries are sorted in a descending order especially so that is also very important because we need highest nth highest fourth highest if you observe here 3000 repeated two times and uh, somewhere you can see 1250 is repeated two times so that's the reason. First of all, you need to find out all the distinct salaries as a next step. So that's what in the next step, we are going to find out the distinct salaries. So it is eliminating the duplicate values. So you can observe that distinct salaries are total 12. So simply you can say 12 distinct values. So on top of that, if you observe what, what salary you need, fourth highest salary. So the fourth highest salary, how you can get on top of this? So it's a very simple. We are going to take only first four salaries. So that means you see here, you told whatever the nth highest, that many number of records only you consider in the next. So I'm going to take these four in this result. So that's what this is the, so n records, top n records only you are considering, top n records. So in that, the last one is the fourth highest salary. Now in this result, on top of this result, just consider the minimum value of salaries. That's going to become fourth highest salary. So minimum of salaries is going to give you the fourth highest salary. So this is what the evolution of finding the nth highest salary. So let us observe the same thing here practically. So here, if you take, so EMP table here, so this is the data in front of us. So now let us just take the uh, salary column. Okay. So we are going to take only salary column. So select cell from EMP. So now if I take this result, so we have only salary column in front of us. So after this, what we need to perform. So this take the data in a descending order. Okay. So that's what. You just add order by clause. So order by DESC. So now this whole data you are going to have in a descending order. Okay. So we have to mention the column name cell. So now run this query. So you can see the data is in a descending order. Now in this, because few values are repeated, whether it is repeated or not, it's recommended to take the distinct values out of all these values actually. So that's what, let us try to take a distinct so that you can see now distinct values are going to come in a descending order. So done. Now in this, as we discussed after this step, what we done actually. So in this distinct values, let us try to take top n values. In our case, we need top four values. So that's what here you need to add on top of this distinct values. Let us take top four actually so that's what top four salaries whatever be the n that you replace with the four so just run this query see top four now 
on top of this result we should extract the minimum of salaries actually so this we are going to take as a sub query now let us take another one select uh, select a cell from this result we are going to take as a table sub query so you can see that okay so let us take a close it and then take a alias name if i run this one it is going to give you same thing now out of all these values we need to take a minimum so that we are uh, use the aggregate function min of salaries so you can see 2850 is the minimum which is the fourth highest so let us see that so now you can see now you have the fourth highest salary number in in, in your hand now this we are going to again this whole thing we are going to take as a sub query so that's what select star from emp where in the where class where salary is equal to whatever be the number it is returning so that is going to become the so just uh, adjust accordingly so now you can see this is giving top four salaries okay and this is giving minimum salary of the top four that's what 2850 that 2850 is going to replace in this position then whoever is equal to 2850 all of them are coming in the output so that you can observe the so we need to close it so now let us run again so you can see this is the result uh, whoever be the fourth highest salary so let us see one of one small observation here uh, are in the output so here if you see uh, there are two employees whose salary is 3000 that means if you see hierarchically this is the second highest salary so uh, whoever is the 3000 all of them should come in the output so now what we will do in place of four let us keep the two so you must get the two employees in the output actually so let me run this whole query so you can see the two employees whose salary is three thousand are came in the output not only this you just observe that 1250 repeated two times so 1250th uh, uh, salary which highest seven ninth highest so you just take here nine so ninth highest salary whoever is there those are all of them are coming in the output so this is the unique solution even value salaries or values are repeated so whoever is uh, uh, that much highest all of them are coming in the output actually so this is the simplest solution for finding the nth highest value uh, in a given column so hope you understand clearly thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share the video